we started our fourth week of the My Father's World Kindergarten curriculum, and this week was the moon study. And since we didn't have time to do all the hands-on activities on day one, I just combined the two days. So today was full of all the hands-on projects. We did the solar system model, we did a sundial, which you'll see later, and yeah, it's overall a really good study today. This book actually came with me, my father's world kindergarten curriculum, and it's such a sweet story <laughs> about Little Bear, if you're familiar with those stories at all. And then The Moon Seems to Change is also a really good book about introducing kids to the faces of the moon, why it, it is in the sky in certain times of day, etc. And of course we have our nature anatomy book which we use for pretty much every study. And then the moon bear shadow. This is definitely one of our kids favorites. They love seeing bear try to run away from a shadow and they later discover that he can't. <laughs> the stargazer's wheel we love. It's really easy to use. You just pick the date and the day and it tells you where the constellations are in the sky. The little marshmallows and toothpicks we use for making our own constellations, which you'll see later. It's just a really fun, hands-on way for the kids to learn about how to put them together. And this is a part of our uh, curriculum as well. This was yesterday's lesson. Yesterday we learned about how Jesus is the light of the world and how that reflects on to us and then they, it referred to them as the moon and the little moon face cards that all of them made. And it's the moon. After we finished our letter of the day, we went outside and made our own sundial. It was simply just a pencil stuck in some Play-Doh and then put on a thick piece of construction paper. Ellie also had fun discovering her shadow and playing with that as well. All right, are we ready to make our constellations? Yeah. Do we have our marshmallows? Yeah. And our toothpicks? And then our uh, star chart and our constellations? And our marshmallows. Our marshmallows, right. <laughs> I love marshmallows. You love marshmallows. So while you guys are building your marshmallow constellations, mommy's going to read the little bear. What will little bear wear? It is cold. No, that All one. right, well this is the sun. The planet closest to the sun, let's look up here, is Mercury. And then the next is Venus, which is this one right down here. And then there's Earth, that's where we live. There is Earth. And then next we have Mars, this one here. Then we have Jupiter. Yeah, Jupiter, Jupiter. Jupiter and Saturn is the planet with all the rings on it. Do you like Saturn, Ellie? My favorite, my favorite planet is... What's your favorite? My favorite planet is... My favorite planet is... Mars. I like Mars. I like Mars. You like Mars? Yeah. Is that Venus? Yeah. That's a oh. Venus what? Yes, there is. But if you do this, the wind will pick it up. Yep. That way we can leave our poster on the ground. Yay. And we can line up all of the magnets so they line That's up with the poster. 
Is that your favorite? Why? What is that? Is that the sun? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's the giant sun. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the giant sun, we're gonna put him right here. And look at this, baby. We're gonna find that Mercury planet is the one that's closest to the sun. So can we find Mercury? Which one is Mercury? What planets are you making? She's making a lot of moons. Are you making a lot of the moons? Yeah. It's windy out, isn't it? Yeah. Uh-oh. Sun too. It is the sun too, you're right. So let's put the sun on the ground. There. All right. Ooh. So next we have Mercury. That's the planet that's closest to the sun. Can you put it close to the sun? After you have Venus, you have Earth. Here's Earth, Boo Bear. Earth is where we live. And Earth goes right here. So now we have the sun. The planet closest to the sun is Mercury. Then we have Venus, and then we have the Earth. Now we go get... What, what planet do you think is next to Earth? For Jupiter, we have our Saturn. For Saturn goes next to Jupiter. All right. Oliver was discovering how fun it was to let the paper go and watch the wind take it away. That's how you spell moon, M-O-O-N. And there's the moon. What are you ready for now, Boo? This! What is it? Are we going to build a solar system, Kate? Yeah! Ooh, that looks neat. We can hang it up in our school room. Yeah, let's do it now. Right? Let's get started. Well, we don't want to break the box. Huh? How? This is the Stargazer's Guide to the Night Sky. I believe Master Books is the one that prints this. If, you, if your kids are interested in astronomy at all, it is a great, great book. Just packed full of every single thing that you could ever want or need to know about the solar system. Our kids are loving it. So here's everything we need to put together our solar system kit. We have all of our planets out and ready to go. We have our sun. We have our little wire cutters and our bamboo scooters. The last activity we did for the day was the magic sand from Ooze Labs. It is so much fun and the kids love seeing how the sand, no matter how much water you put in it, never got wet. Okay, hold it really, really still. Mommy will pour the sand in, okay? Ready? Okay, ready. Okay, here we go. Hold it really still. Can I put it in now? Okay, so bring it over here. Stir it up. Can you stir it? Stir it up. Okay. 
It's sand that doesn't get wet. Look at that, sis. It just kind of sticks to the walls of the jar, doesn't it? Mommy. You ready to do yours, honey? Yeah. See? That's pretty neat. Neat. Thank you so much for watching, and before you go, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video.